All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra's Lair. I'm your host, Larry the Chupacabra, and we are back for some more Abzu. When we left off, I awoke the great uh, Coral Temple to bring back the giant murdery tentacletrons into the world, the giant squid, which you can kind of see one playfully mauling something behind the temple, and there's... That's probably Betsy the squid. Betsy always kind of likes to hang out, out, just out of shot of the camera, but you can't escape me, Betsy and Bob. I see you up there doing squid things. But yeah, we're back for some more Abzu, and uh, I think we're near, pretty, pretty close to the end of this sucker now. We've restored most of the power and adventure to the ocean, and now we just have to, I don't know, probably kill, like, Space Cthulhu or something. I mean, re rejuvenate Space Cthulhu. We wouldn't, we wouldn't murder Cthulhu. He's, he's a nice guy, it seems. Oh. Now, I'm not 100% on what the deal is with these triangles. They, I guess they're supposed to be the automated custodians of... of the ocean. But clearly the ones down here have gotten all fucked up. And if I get too close of them, they tase the shit out of me. I'm not a fan of that, admittedly. And they're all really damaged, so... Have they gone rogue? Have they been corrupted? Has the Ted Bundy robot been here? Because they are robotic, somewhat. Or maybe these are like an ancient evil that the Atlanteans created, and then they sought to restore order with those temples using the more mystical side of their power. I don't know. Those are kind of creepy critters, though. I gotta say. Okay. Ooh, that's... I don't know about this, you guys. It seems pretty fondly. <coughs> yeah, these triangles are straight up the bad touch. So, something bad touched the ancient Atlantean technology, I guess. Whoa. Oh, this is the place that manufactures our little robot friends. Okay. That's really cool, actually. This got- this suddenly went from the mystical to the sci-fi really fast. Ooh, hi. Don't tase me, it's okay. You don't gotta do that, friend. Why are they just crashed into the walls? Like, what the fuck is even happening here? I mean, they don't kill me, so I don't know why I care. But clearly this machine is also manufacturing these. But why? Is this the Borg? Is this like an ancient alien sort of situation? I'm- I'm str I straight up. I- I ain't got no idea. So if you guys have any guesses, you let me know. Cause... Yeah. I don't even. Oh! Those appear to be robot fish. Hi, robo-fish! How are you? So... what's... What is this about? So... it's a hologram, yeah? I mean, I got that part. And inside of these spheres is, like, the healing power of the ocean? Oh, wait, what is this? Am I a robot, people? Is that- does that mean I'm a robot? So are people the ancient aliens of this world? Hold on, hold the phone. Okay, so the surveyors have that power in them. Okay, so do the- the guardian sphere- or triangles? Pyramids? The pyramids of ancient pyramid power? Makes so much sense now. It was really the Illuminati all along. Nah, it's- Oh good! Oh good, they got more of these! Oh, uh, these are the best. Those are my fucking favorite. Why are you going crazy? Am I- I'm not the bad person here. 
I'm saving the ocean. And I'm clipping through the wall and ruining the immersion. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, goody. Oh, I'm sure this shit is very healthy and not at all going to murder the fuck out of me. All right. You ready, kids? Papa's home. No. 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 Shit. Bad. Who just lets you hover here? It's a fucking swarm. God, I feel like I'm in Star Trek trying to not get hand jobbed by the Borg. I don't want it. Larry's got the bad touch. No. Okay. Nope. Daddy's gonna go now, kids. Don't. Don't you touch my butt on the way out, please. Oh, good. Yeah, you're gonna try and sneak in, Timmy, for one last grab at me. One last grab of old Larry. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that shit looks friendly. That shit looks super friendly. Don't, don't you skip, don't, oh. Okay. Well, Philip the, Philip the shark to, <coughs> um. Okay, so I'm a robot, clearly. Ooh, okay. Okay, this is a little terrifying. Was that? Is that it? Is that? Okay. This shit's, this shit's just as like weird as inside at, is the, the game inside. Play Dead's inside. Just like some random crazy shit all over the place. So I guess I'm still alive. I got tased real bad. And my skin is gone. Am I? Okay, so I, I am the demons, apparently. The robo-demons. No, Philip. Philip the shark. I'll tase you back to life, Philip. Don't you worry. Larry's coming for you. I'm still, I'm still getting used to working out, like, gestures on camera. Getting there. It's, ta it's taking just a little bit of time. So we, a wee bit of time. Philip, Philip, you are just like a stupid shark to me, but I, in my own way, cared about you with my robot feelers. It's all right, Philip. I'll turn you into calamari. Don't worry. Some wonderful, fat, rich people will eat you. It's what Philip would have wanted. We have to respect his wishes, even though, even though he's dead and technically his wishes don't matter anymore. Because he's a stupid, stupid fish. Okay, so here we are at the surface. Haven't been to the surface properly in a while. Oh, yep. Didn't need to dive that far. Thanks, robot. Thanks. Appreciate that. Alright, well, let's see what this is about. I, I guess we're the robot that doesn't like the outside world all that much. So we're in part of a now abandoned temple complex, yeah. Got that part. No, don't dive, please. You can do other things. I've seen you freaking do it. Up to the surface, you. Am I not allowed up on land anymore? Well, maybe there's some secrets over here on the walls. Because clearly there's a cyborg demon in the water. No, don't. Stupid frickin' person. Stop. How are you turning around like this, you ding dong? No, stop on the people. I want to see the people. Stop it. Stop it! Okay, well, they're not... Yeah, so just it's just more of the worship of the creatures in the water. 
And there's some like... I don't know if these are submerged jugs or just plant fondle on the ground. Somehow there's probably a way to flood the rest of this temple, and I'm gonna guess it's probably behind this rock. Yeah. Uh, nope. I guess that's not the secret to Narnia. Oh, there's like a bioluminescent trail up here. Is that because of me? Did I do that? Okay, so there is a way. You just had to spam A to get up here. Oh. It's very disorienting suddenly actually being able to walk around without my skin. And I walk about like you would expect a robot to walk. So what's going on here? Am I like the one of the few remaining guardians of this world? There's also just like a gecko on the ground. Or one of those... Oh, there's little froggies. Hey, froggies, how are you? All right, you guys are adorable. Okay, so there's just like some proper jugs and pottery up on, on the sides here. No more mystery is being revealed to me through these panels, though. I guess we have to go through the murder door. Right after I get some beverage in me. Okay, here we go. Oh wow, this just got very Assassin's Creed temple-y. Alright, welcome to Rome, everybody. There's just, here's Atlantis. We, it's still here. Just contact your local travel bureau. Wee! Oh, that was, that was adorable. Okay. So this is just all that's left of this ancient civilization. Like this, these people are straight up gone forever, I guess. Alright, so there's like some little tadpole fish. I guess we just go and explore now. We go check out ancient Pompeii. Or Atlantis. There's a lot of different vibes from a lot of different places around here. At least the murder... The murder creatures are gone, the weird robots. Even though technically I am one, and I don't have skin anymore, which is very weird. It feels just so weird. Okay, so I got you. We need to get to the bottom of these temples and activate these chains again. Alright, well that's fine. I'll get to these towers in a sec. I'm actually going to swim up here and get on the land. And have a look around, because this game looks great. It looks really cool. A very simple way. Yeah. Look at that. There's like a shark tower. And they they worship the great helix. Blessed be. There's doves that I'm sure were common vermin in this city, because they always are. I don't like doves or pigeons all that much, but I can understand the symbolism. And there's little lilies in the water. Those little water lilies. Lily pad lilies, or are those orchids? I forget. Those are a thing, though. Alright, well, let's activate this chain. See what this sucker does. Oh, I guess we have to crank it ourselves with our robot arms. Our robot limbs are getting a workout today. All right, the mystical juices are flowing in one of the mouths of the demon. Let's see if I can get up onto this walkway over here, because this walkway seemed to get up onable up there. Oh, hey, there's a little, there's a little oasis pool for spawning more animals too. Let's go do that. I am not really sure what the hell just came out of it. Okay. Bye, fishy friends. That was just a little bit random feeling. 
Here's a meditation tower. A lot of some more dead stuff, and here's the here's our great Lord Helix's kids. Helix Jr. and Helix Bob. Oh, there's more of these little pond things that we can summon critters out of. That guy was really excited to come visit, whatever he was. Why why what is with this game and sharks? No ocean needs this many sharks. This is like. This is like going to a fast food buffet that doesn't have nearly enough food and just spawning more fat guys and rascals. It just seems unnecessary. Eh, come to think of it, I haven't really been to a lot of buffets in my life. Buffets are usually shittier food that I've been to. I've been to like four in my entire life and didn't really like very many of them. Okay, let's see if I can get up onto this walkway and like straight up walk up. Cause this is like a stairs or something, like a br old bridge that's gone now. All right, let's see what we got up here. This is feeling kind of important. Although I can't move there. Oh, there's one of those little conch shells. I'm here, Lord Helix, you're my friend now. We'll live forever. I guess those are collectibles. Does that mean there's like a hidden ending to this game? I do wonder. So, do you guys know anything about what's going on? I'm still a little bit stumped, like... Straight up, there's like murder- there's like murder creatures and shit. I'm not really sure how to respond to all that. This- this whole place is really cool. Is this part of a city? It looks like it's part of a city, or at least part of an ancient temple complex. Temples are always one of those really expensive things that civilizations spend a lot of resources on. Those expensive-ass temples. So somehow I can get in there. I'm gonna say it's probably got something to do with crawling my ass up here, though. Oh, what was that? There's a thingy up there. Oh. I guess I could have walked up there, but legs are for landlubbers, right? Oh, okay. Well, I feel a little gypped, but oh well. Shit happens. Let's just uncrank this sucker. Some really old school locks in this game. Really old school. Alright, so that is our exit out of here. Still got a little time on the clock left. Man, that- that whole thing with the robots was very disconcerting. Gotta say. Like, those robots were making our cute little friendly robots, but also like the murder triangular ones. And Mama Robot was pissed off at me. I'm saving the ocean! What do you want from me? It's not like I came into the... Came in and just like started screaming like I'm from Wisconsin and I would eat all your cheese. Gee whiz. Okay, there's another temple looking thing in here with a giant ass turtle. Like, for real, that is a big ass turtle. Come here. I'm gonna ride you around a little bit. This is happening, Hank the Turtle. Just make peace with it. All right. This is a big ass place. Look at that. There's more like wall mosaics. All right, let's go. Let's go touch this. This looks important. All right, maybe that doesn't do anything. And there's nothing underneath of here besides more fish. I guess we just follow the fountain to its source. Well, to its destination, that is... That is the source back there. One, one does think that this game might have been about a race that used to live in the ocean? Or at least we're cohabitating with the ocean. 
There's an awful lot of underwater technology for a game that doesn't have as much to do about the ocean. By which I mean a culture, not just the game. Because the game is clearly about the beautiful ocean. And we're- wait, we're up, we're up inside of, like, the temple now. Oh, sick! That's awesome! So, why did I want this? Where did I come from? I'm a little... a little disoriented here. Okay, I guess it wants me to dive in here, so fuck it. That's what we're gonna do. Oh! This is very... ceremonial looking. I guess we have to reactivate this old temple to heal... To bring together what remains of the- of the final temples that we've already resurrected. Those are like the power springs. And these will draw all of that magic power together to renew the ocean and fuck that robot in the butt. Probably. Yeah, so these are the wellsprings of power. And this must be like the central- like the central conduit that brings everything back together. Uh, cl probably close enough. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna finish Abzu next time. Here on the Chupacabra's Lairs, I smacked my microphone by mistake. Hope to see you then. Um, I've really been enjoying this game. It's... It's a roller coaster of pretty bizarre things, and I've enjoyed the hell out of it so far. And I hope we get to see, like, what happened to this place, and what this- all this story is leading to before we get out of here. Because I'm curious, like, this has been great. It implies a lot of ancient civilization stuff that I just love. All of that ancient peoples having discovered the mystical before it died out and we had to go with the mechanical and all that junk. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, uh, Larry the Chupacabra. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you later. Toodles, everybody!